the system was just running CPUs, it could take three to four hours. So, but now the other cool thing is that you can say, look, I want to do a design review with my, my boss or my designer or, or with the client, you know, who's getting this part, this perfume bottle. So I can simply direct them to this web page. And this is just a web browser. You can also run it on the laptop here. I can just point them to this web page and they look at this and they go, well, that's nice. It's showing me a picture of this object. I say, no, no, it's not a picture. I can, um, I can look at it from any angle. I'm just moving it out. And it's computing this real, this photorealistic what these things you just said. Uh, I'm computing this photorealistic image uh, on the fly. Completely on the fly. None of this is going to be So I can move it around and say, oh, I want to see it from this angle, or I can change the light, I can change the environment, I can have lights beaming on it. And this is not an approximation to the final image. This is the final image as we want. And this is because you have the power of these 32 GPUs all computing simultaneously on this one session. So you can kind of think of it as a a substitute for, well, really, there's no way to do this with the design review now. I mean, what do you do? You give them, you give them some tool and you have them inside. You give them a photograph, or maybe you make an animation. But in this case, it's so dynamic there, it's much better than an animation because I don't have to pre compute it. I can just have the person who's doing this review just pick the angle that they want or pick the lighting that they want, or maybe eventually even change the configuration of colors and stuff. So this is exported directly to SolidWorks through Shot. She just applied some materials to it. It just made it more to the cloud and rendered by reality. So it's an and you can see the subtlety of the This is very